Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor is due to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the whole elect. News in the gospel, bro. Lift up the standard of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. <laughs> Queen what? Okay. Queen what? Queen Elizabeth. You're right. This devil croaked today. It says the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth dies. Charles, King Charles III is Britain's newest monarch. Which I believe that devil was heir to the throne since he was three years old. Which in fact, this is all the doing of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because there's nothing royal about these people. If you go into the history, to the, the, the bloody history there that is the things they've done, the atrocities and what they've done to get the throne of England, <laughs> basically um, cheating and stealing their way to the top and marrying into black nobility or black noble families of England during the time uh, at the end of the Dark Ages, so to speak, roughly late to early 1400s to the latter 1400s. Edomites had pretty much higher positions in Jake's courts, man, because they were serviced into Jake. Okay, like uh, you had King James the first of Scotland, and I believe he was King James the sixth of England, which is a so-called black man. All right, which was royal. Okay, because we know according to the scriptures that the Most High has chosen the Hebrew Israelites, which is the Negro, Latino, and Native American, as being the, the the princes and the kings and the sons and daughters and wives and royalties of the planet Earth. But see, we have been debased under these devils because of our atrocities. So like the Most High said, that he was gonna give the kingdom uh, unto whosoever he pleased and set up over the bases of men, which the base men is you you devils, okay? And she is completely a, a base woman because if you look at her, you can clearly see the evil count on this woman, okay? This woman has done nothing to assume the throne of England, okay? But she's murdered, like uh, what they call that, we call that, uh, that Google Chrome, that, that Adreno, that Chrome Adreno, we gotta say it that way because if you make mention of that, that take your videos down. But basically, that Chrome Adreno or that Google Chrome was basically a a, a hormone or like a, a toxin that comes out of the blood of children, okay? Which is part of a satanic sacrifice, a ritual that these people have been undergoing for ages. Okay, basically when you see the missing children on the back of a milk carton, <laughs> a lot of times this is where it goes. Or when you find out that your kid has been caught up in some type of sex ring or some organ harvesting ring, it's because of these people that you see. Okay, like back in the 90s, every week you had missing children posters on the back of milk cartons. Like they have two faces. Have you seen us? And they, they, they glory in Jake babies, man, because this is what keep that youth. Like I believe it was like a Cinderella cartoon or... Uh, uh, not Rapunzel, but basically, uh, the what was that rhyme about who's the merriest of them all? It was like a mirror they looked into, and basically, the witch basically she sacrificed children because she was nothing more than a witch. And I mean, look at our accountants, man, you can see it. Okay, this woman has killed a lot of Israelites, okay, and basically, her being a monarch over Great Britain. Basically, what America allegedly got their independence from, a lot of your tax dollars, a lot of your hard-worn cash is going right over to these devils, man, okay? A lot of your hard-earned tax dollars, a lot of your, your blood, sweat, and tears, okay, literally and physically, <laughs> are literally being brought to these devils, okay? But see, the thing of it is, you ask Vocab Malone, ask her where she is, he won't ask a question, okay? Because there's certain people she's burning down in hell, but that's not the, that's, that's clearly not biblical, Okay, this woman is basically resting up. She's resting up because hey, the Lord need fresh new slaves for the kingdom of heaven. And honestly speaking, this devil was 96 years old. Prince Philip, which was her husband that died last year, was 99 years old. Like the scriptures say, they live a full life and they're full of children. Jake be lucky if he make it past 75. Okay, if you make it past 75, I mean, that's not a fortunate thing for Jake in this society. But if you make it that long and count yourself, you've lived a full life because these devils, they live to 100 years old. Okay, do different uh, 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 heart transplants. Okay, like that devil David Rockefeller, he was like on his seventh heart transplant before he croaked. 
okay? The kids, the kidnapping of kids. Like if you watch that movie, Dr. Sleep, basically it goes into ritualistic sacrifices, okay? But there's nothing royal about this people, okay? And then, I mean, just look at her county. You can tell she's a demon, okay? Like, <laughs> bro called her ass a blood-drinking lizard because she literally drinks blood. And I guess that fresh supply of uh, chrome a drink, uh, uh a Chromecast has ran out, okay? They couldn't replenish it, okay? Because uh, she's, look at her, man. You can see the scriptures say you can tell a man by his countenance. I mean, she looks like a female version of David Rockefeller, man. Like, look in her eyes, man. You can clearly see the evil nature behind these devils, okay? And she's nothing more than a devil, okay? She's responsible for a lot of, lot of jigs being put to death, okay? So, hey, let's get a couple of precepts here. Because the royal people of the Bible, this is royalty, okay? This is King James VI and the first. King James VI of England and King James I of Scotland, okay? This is real royalty right here. Now, if you look at the, at the comparative analysis, you can see where they assume those robes and stuff from those, those scepters, those scepters, those, uh, scope, what do you call it? Scepters, you know, with the long shawl, with the fur. Okay, because that shawl itself, that's probably like a 40, 50, well, I won't say it's that heavy, but that thing got some weight to it. But see, they got that from us because these devils, man, hey, and they were driven forth from among men because they were chased up into the caves. They were solitude and destitute. Literally, when it says so easy, easy a caveman can do it, that's these people. Okay, Esau Edom was the caveman because he was always a red, hairy devil with a big beard on his face that was always it, dealing with the nature outside or always dealing with the wilderness. That's these people. We taught these people how to become civilized, okay, during the Moorish dynasty. We taught them. We taught them how to speak. We taught them how to how to how to how to uh, live so-called uh, 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 clean, so to speak. We cleaned them up. We showed them hygiene. We showed them how to work a work ethic, okay. Because remember, before then, they used to come against the king's courts to the point that you had to have certain uh, 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 swordsmen and arrowsmen. Okay, that handle bow and shield to fight these devils off because it stated that the beast man, okay, or the wild man was able to uproot trees with bare hands. That was these people, okay, because they was always trying to raid on the king's courts, okay, during the time of the dark ages, especially when they were destitute, looking for food, looking to take over, okay. But hey, we cleaned them up. We civilized Esau Edom, okay. We taught him that that English of lang that that English language. We taught them that. OK, so there's nothing royal about these people. They are imposters. And you're going to find that out when the kingdom of heaven come that they were nothing but, but, but false imposters, man. OK, because um, I did a word search on black kings and queen of England, and it's not as many pictures as that once was. They took a lot of it down. OK, because we was getting into this history quite uh, deep. But nonetheless, man, this was our people. And you see the way that they dress. And this was before those devils uh, uh, took over Europe, man. Okay, black royalty, Jews rule Europe. That's right, Israelites. Okay, look at this. Our people. It says Queen Charlotte in the new Netflix series Bridgerton, United Kingdom's first queen of African ancestry. All right. <laughs> So anyway, let's get a couple of precepts here. This is the book of uh, Psalm 73. And I'm going to start at verses 3. It says, For I was foolish or envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, because these devils have more than what the heart can imagine. Okay? They have it and then some. Like the scripture said it, they're, they're, they're full of children, man. They lead the substance to their babes. Okay? Because that devil was a Prince Charles III. And he's basically been heir to the throne since he was three years old. Now he's officially the heir to the throne now because it's, uh, I believe this is that that's the, uh, the, 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 the son of this devil. Okay. And I believe her and Prince uh, Philip had children together. Okay. Which technically he should have been already adopted to the throne when his father died. But see, through uh, Amalekite dogma, basically what happens is that they, um, they go off the, the, the matriarchal lineage, lineage of women instead of the men. Okay, they believe in a matriarch instead of a patriarch, which patriarch deals with the men, with the father. Okay, like when you read in the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, when you look at the genealogies, they always name the men. 
such and such begot such and such. Seth begot Enos. Enos begot Mahalil. Mahalil begot uh, Jared. Jared begot uh, uh, Enoch, etc. Okay. But it says here, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm, right? Because, hey, how did they assume the world? Okay, they have a stronghold on the world, which was set up by Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. Okay, like going into uh, the parable of Lazarus and the rich man, when it tells you that a great gulf was fixed between the two. Because the poor man, which represents the 12 tribes, our people, basically, uh, we was, or our people, even to this day, if you look at it, they're still trying to make ends with Esau. Okay, they're still trying to sit at the round table with Esau and Edom. But Esau is not having it. So the little that Jake get is considered crumbs. Because if you look at Oprah Winfrey and Michael Jordan, Kanye West, okay, Jay-Z's, Beyonce's, okay, they're, they're little people compared to somebody like Warren Buffett. Okay, and Warren Buffett is a little guy compared to the Rothschilds. Okay, this guy's worth a couple of hundred billion. Why Jay-Z is worth, what, 1.8 billion? Oprah, roughly 2 billion. Michael Jordan, 1.4 billion. That's crumbs compared to being worth hundreds of thousands or hundreds of billions of dollars or trillions of dollars. That's crumbs, man. Okay. But see, Jake look up to these people and believe that they're very lucrative in their doing. But no, man, our people got to sell out in order to get the crumbs. Okay. And that's, that's straight up evil, man. Okay. You're dangling a carrot before somebody's face and you basically, they're basically modern day murals, clown shows, black faces, you know, cooning and so forth. To get that piece of bread for the day Okay But it says here they are, no tr they are not in trouble with other men Neither are they plagued like other men Okay And this devil man She wasn't really She wasn't troubled Okay Not for real when it came to finances and riches You couldn't even get near this woman man Okay And look at the look at her countenance And she knows she's not royal She knows in her spirit That she's wicked But these are imposters man Okay, these are people that basically who the Lord set up in a position of power and they, they took it and they ran with it. Okay, but the real children or the real kings and the kings and princes and princesses were in captivity. Because according to Ecclesiastes 10, it says, Behold, I seen servants riding upon uh, horses and princes as servants on the earth. And who are the princes? That's us. Yah, Shah, Allah. Yah means he, Shah, Prince, Allah, God or power. That's what it means. That's how you translate Israel in the Hebrew. Yah, Shar, Allah. Okay. Yah, He, Shar, Prince, Allah, Power. Well, He is a Prince of God. These people ain't princes or princesses. These are devils. Okay. Because if you go into Edom, which means other one, which means red, and then you go into uh, Esau, which means Isashia, which means wasted away is He. Okay. So, no, man. So. Get off that rose on Titanic shit, man. They're, they, you can see in her, in her countenance, this woman is completely evil. And she's not in, in, in any type of any type of uh, uh, trouble, man, okay? But yet, she's in the spirit world uh, waiting to get that back with, man, okay? Because like I said, the Most High, he's going to require the hand of these devils. Uh, he's going to require the, uh, uh, the iniquity of these devils, man, okay? It says, they are not in trouble with other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride can pass them about as a chain and violence covered them as a garment. Right. Because, hey, for the simple fact, hey, uh, for a peasant like this, like the Rothschilds, they were peasants. Like Bauer, uh, Amshel Bauer means peasant, man. Okay. And the Rothschilds know that they're not royal. I mean, these men are literally the lowest, lowest. of the, they, They're lower than Ham. Okay. But see, because they've been in power for so long and the most I haven't touched them. Like it's a scripture that goes into... Basically, the Most High doesn't know he he's forgot it. Basically, they feel like the Lord has gave them a pass for their wickedness because he haven't judged them in a long time. Because when you look at all the injustices done by Esau, it is it haven't been anything that he hasn't been paid back for it yet. He hasn't been paid back for slavery. He haven't been paid back for taxation. He haven't been paid back for the wars. He haven't been paid back for polluting the earth. He haven't been paid back for going to outer space. He hasn't been paid back for any atrocity that he has committed against the Most High. Okay, changing the sexes, uh, the Momo agenda, all these things. He's still that vagabond and that fugitive on the run. Okay. And it says here, and their eyes stand out with fatness and they have more than a heart can wish. Okay. That's the point. Like I said, man, she was probably getting a batch of kids every day. Go ahead and give me 10 fresh kids. You know, cut up on a platter. Drinking uh, 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 blood out of regalias and shit, man. You know, fresh blood. A type, uh, blood type AB, blood type O positive, 
because that's what kept them uh, going, man. But in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have true immortality. And which proves that she was not a god or a queen or a goddess. Because, she, hey, clearly she gave up the ghost. Okay, like it tells you in Job. And it says here, they are corrupt. And they speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. And they have set their mouth against the heavens, which is the most high. The angels and his, and his children, which are the Israelites. And their tongue walketh through the earth, man. Okay, and that's the whole point. So, hey, how about Shimei, how would I have a, a alt with these devils, man? Okay, and proving that she's not in hell burning. This is the book of Job 3, and I'm going to start at verse 17. It says, the wicked cease from troubling, and they, there, the weary be at rest, okay? It says, there the prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressor, okay? Because, hey, when you go to the spirit world, you are in complete peace. Okay, even when these devils go back to the spirit world, they are in peace. They're not going through any type of oppression. Okay, they're not catching hell because hey, you catch your hell in your body on the earth. Like it tells you, I saw judgment under the sun. Okay, which is talking about the planet earth, which means judgment commences under the heavens. Okay, not in the, not in the heavens because when you go in there, you have a spiritual body. Okay, you have your spiritual body that can't sin. Okay, sin can't dwell in the heavens. You see, but hey, your judgment is played out on the earth. So when they come back to the planet Earth, this is the uh, root cause of that judgment. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy. No, Salak, Exodus 20. Uh, and I'm going to start at verses. Uh, let's start at verses. Yep, five. It says, thou shalt not bow thyself down to them, nor serve them. For I am the Lord, thy power and my jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, man. OK, and that's the point. You come back every three or four generations and you serve out your punishment on the earth. So when these devils come back, a hey, they're going to catch all types of hell, man. And we're going to lay it to them double. Why? Because, hey, look at what they did to us. The Lord said, recompense them, man. OK. Uh. Uh, let me see here. Mm, I can't find it. But basically it goes into how we're going to repay them double, but it's another precept here. I'm um, a revelation, the 18th chapter. But the scriptures also go into uh, prepare a slaughter for his children. Isaiah 14 and 21 So it reads here It says prepare a slaughter for his children For the iniquity of their fathers That they do not arise Nor possess the uh, land Nor fill the face with the cities Okay And that's the point man Prepare a slaughter for these devils They're not getting away with their iniquity Okay Why? Because a judgment commenced It comes back around And like I said They're not the royal people of the book Okay We're the royal people Okay The Israelites man the, the Negro, Latino, and Native American. Okay, and what proves that? Let's go, uh, uh, procure royal priesthood. That's in, I think, First Peter. Uh, hold on. Matter of fact, I just typed this here. Type in royal, and I think that's in First Peter 2 and 9. Yep. It says here, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises unto him that have called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. And these people are not the, these, the, these people here, they're not of the priesthood. Okay. They're the priesthood on the left hand side. Okay. Cause the covenant wasn't given to these people. Okay. Covenant wasn't given to her. A bunch of blood drinking devils, man. Okay. Look, look, look at her grandson. I mean, totally just a fucking degenerate. These are Edomites, man. Base people. They have no right to assume any type of power, but this is the Lord's doing. Because the Lord said that I will provoke you to anger with a foolish nation. Okay? And look. Nothing but a bunch of... Look like a fucking door greeter at Walmart, man. Alright? And look at this guy. This weirdo here. This man is not a fucking king. He's not a prince. <laughs> He's a peasant, man. Okay? A straight peasant. Okay? Uh, get that in Job real quick. Job, duh, duh, duh. 
This is the book of Job 21. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 7. It says, Wherefore do the wicked live and become old? Yea, are mighty in power. <laughs> okay? The wicked. The old, the mighty. You can't even get near these people's courts, man. If you get near them, hey, uh, literally you'll catch a bullet to the noodle. Like my man said in training day. He said they don't want to get the bullet to the noodle. Okay? And that's, that's true in fact. You know? Like a couple of times, I think a case came out when people wanted to go up and greet it. Like, if you wanted to get greeted by these low-level people, you got to be invited. You got to have a special invitation. Like, Oprah Renfrey can't just go up and shake the Queen of England's hand. They're going to look at her like, niggas, you stupid. Okay, they can't do that because they don't have that type of clout. Even though these are low-level people compared to the Rothschilds. Nonetheless, man, hey, the average Jake like you and me, we couldn't go up and shake hands with these people. Oh my God, it's the Queen of England. Then you got dumbass Jake out there talking about, oh my God, the Queen of England. She ain't no damn queen, man. She's a she's a straight witch, man. She's a fucking Blair witch, man. Okay, clearly, and her, and her husband, he's a fucking devil. Okay, literally, a, adrenal chrome drinking devils, man. Okay, blood drinking leeches. If you got a kid or two, hey, don't leave them around them. That's all I got to say. But anyway, it says, wherefore do the wicked live and become old, and yea, are mighty in power? <laughs> it says, their seed is established in their sight with them and their offspring before their eyes. Now, look. Look at this guy, man. All right? Prince Charles and Queen Elizabeth celebrate Prince William's 40th birthday or whatever the fuck it is. I didn't read it. I just assumed it. Queen Elizabeth sent Prince George's sweet birthday message. This guy is not a fucking prince, man. He's not a son of the Most High. He's not a prince of the power. Okay, but it says here, their seed is established in their sights and them and their offspring before their eyes. It says that houses are safe from fear. <laughs> Neither is the rod of the most high upon them, right? Because she lived 100 years old, pretty much. 96 years old. That's a full life. Okay, like I said, most Jakes, they don't get up to 70 years old. By the time Jake retired when he's 62, hey, he's getting ready to give up the ghost. You see? And it says here, their boo uh, generate and fell it not. And their cow cavit and cast an art cow. And they send forth their little ones like a flock, and their children dance. And they take the timbrel and the heart and rejoice at the sound of the organ. And they spend their days in wealth. And in a moment go down to the grave, man. And that's what she did. She spent all her days in wealth. Okay? From a child, she was pampered. Shower of gifts being set up through the uh, 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 Jesuit order or whatever you want to call it to be so called royal. Okay? She's. They basically set her because, you know, the Illuminati, they go through bloodlines, man. Like all the Rothschilds, the president, somehow, some form, they're related somehow. You better believe me. She was probably like a distant cousin of the Rothschilds, man. Okay, even though they don't really acknowledge her like that. But, you know, just for, for publicity's sake, you know, she was pretty much out there. Okay, because a queen and a king is pretty much equivalent to a dictator or a president. Like, you technically, you can say Joe, Joe Biden is the king of, of Babylon, which he is. But see, Royu, uh, the, the British monarch come from Royal Oak, so to speak. And they assumed the throne when we went down because, hey, we've trusted them to carry over the affairs, man. Okay, like I said, marry into the black nobilities of Scotland, France, England, okay, Portugal and Spain. You had black nobility there. You had Moors, man. Okay, and we colonized. But what happened was when we went down, Esau came up. You see? And it says here, they spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. So therefore, say unto the power, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. Right? And that's the point. They didn't acknowledge you how about Shimei, how was shy. And they mind said, we got. Okay? But yet, hey, t this is going to be a fresh new batch of, of, of straight, fresh back of slave right here, man. All right? Whoever want to cast first dips on this, hey, if you don't want her, I'll take her. Straight up, because she going to be put to work, man. Straight up, that evil. And I pray she comes back with that same proud look, that same evil look. I pray that she comes back like that. Okay, because honestly speaking, putting her in slavery at this time, let's just say if the destruction came, because you know she had bonkers and shit, but let's just say if she was reserved for that day, she wouldn't be no good, man. We need fresh slaves. She wouldn't be no good. One lash across her fucking back, she going to the spirit world. And the most high, like, nah, nah, bro. You ain't getting away that easy. For a minute, it pisses you off because you like this person lived a full life without any hell. But we just read it in, in Job, the 21st chapter. Okay, but when we get it back in our, our rulership, our, our royalty, hey, brothers, man, we're going to live a full assurance of forever. 
and we ain't gonna never go off and we ain't never gotta worry about these people ever again so again so let them have it let them enjoy themselves man for the little time they got left but anyway i'm gonna end it there giving all praises and glory and honor that's due to you how about shimmy how was shy and with that shallow bomb and the baba ball. <laughs>